Hey, what's up Temple fam? It's your boy MJ and today we're going to unlock the secrets of the Iron Finger Temple. Reading about finger stands in books like Iron Fist Chimmy as a kid, I figured it was just an exaggeration of strength training. At the time, the craziest thing I'd ever seen that even came close to it was Bruce Lee and his thumb and finger one-handed push-ups. Don't get me wrong, as crazy as that is, by the time I was 13, I could already do that. Fast forward a few years, out in China, I learned the ancient techniques to train the iron fingers. By 2006, I had achieved my first four finger handstand. Two fingers in each hand, no thumbs. With the thumbs, it doesn't count. I continued with my training. It took a little longer, but eventually I got to one finger of each hand. Since then, moving back to the UK, I've had over a dozen students level up and get the four finger handstand. Students of all ages, including most recently Cliff, who's in his 50s. My top student, Lee, he achieved the one finger handstand when he was just 11 years old. As far as I'm aware, there's only a handful of people outside of China to actually achieve the one finger handstand. Me, Lee, and a guy I found on YouTube. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. And if you've seen anyone else achieve the one finger handstand, please let me know in the comments below. Confucius said, people that say it cannot be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. If you're serious about getting your iron fingers, I suggest you pick up yourself some lace-up power-ups. These act like supports for joints, just like knee and elbow wraps for powerlifting. With that being said, ignore the no-sayers and let's get to it. All right, so our first exercise is gonna be finger push-ups. We're gonna go for 10 repetitions. Here we go. push-ups yet is not a problem check out the regression but what I would say is don't use your thumbs training your thumbs is also excellent but if you're using your thumb for your finger push-ups actually the position of your hand is wrong and you're not going to develop strength in the joints that you require to actually do a handstand on your fingers the next exercise on the list is finger hold this is a little easier than doing push-ups but obviously this allows you to build up a resistance to the pain whilst in that one finger position. So for this one, I'm gonna be using one finger of each hand and I'm gonna go for 10 seconds. Ready? That one is a burner. Again, don't use your thumbs. Make sure you watch the aggression to see how you can build up to get your one finger plank hold. Next exercise, finger tapping. This one is essential and is missed out by so many people. Very, very straightforward, just like I am palm training, but with the fingers, we're gonna go front side, back side. Front side, back side. We're gonna go for 20 seconds. hit a little harder and if it's a little difficult for you, you can hit a little softer and if you haven't got one finger you should start with two fingers same principle just like that to the next technique this one is a secret so don't tell me 
All you need is a little stick. This is tapping your fingers. We're gonna do this as a set right now, but actually this one, you should have your stick with you wherever you go and wherever you are, you're just tapping your fingers. Not very hard, but you're just tapping all around. So it's a little bit different to the finger taps because you're able to get so many different angles on it. And you're just tapping like, over you know hours and hours of doing this over months and months you'll build up a really strong finger resistance for this one for this video we're going to go for 10 seconds on each side This is just a regular down and pick up an offer from your local DIY store. On to the last and final technique, massage. Just like the rest of your body, when you work real hard, massaging the muscles and tendons helps with recovery. It's exactly the same with your fingers. And what I suggest using is some sort of oil. I've got some Chinese Shaolin medicine here, but it's the same as any other oils that you could probably find in your local supermarket. So what you do is you just apply it to the finger. Just massage it in. All right guys, so if you've enjoyed this video, use that iron finger, smash that like button. Help us promote Shaolin Wellbeing by sharing this video with your friends and family. And subscribe if you haven't already because we release a new video every Saturday, 6 p.m. London time. Be sure to check out temple.london for all the latest offers and find out how you can train with us here at the temple or online. Well, until next time, Zai Jian.